click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hi friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about how to draw the structure of morphine, codeine and heroin and now in this topic we are going to talk about the aspirin. So now let us understand that is how we can prepare aspirin and what is the structure of it as well as what is the use of it. So friends, now we are going to talk about the preparation of aspirin. So aspirin is basically a non-narcotic drug which is used as analgesic. And that's the reason that it is basically widely used. So friends, now we are going to talk about aspirin. So what is aspirin? Aspirin is actually a non-narcotic drug which is in fact used as a painkiller. So now let us understand how we can prepare aspirin. So aspirin is basically formed from salicylic acid. That is, suppose if we consider salicylic acid which has a structure that is what I am mentioning over here. That is the benzene ring that is associated with C O. O OH and OH. So this is salicylic acid and whenever it undergoes through acetylization process and that is nothing but with the usage of CH3, C double bond O, O, C double bond O that is acetic anhydride. That also in presence of that is glacial acetic acid. So therefore this is nothing but we are doing the acetylization of that is salicylic acid and that is what we could get the product and the main product that is what we have over here is this group it will remain as it is so therefore this is COOH while this OH it will be turned into OCOCH3 while the rest of the group it will be remain as a byproduct that is in the form of CH3, COOH, that is acetic acid. So therefore, this is the product that we have obtained and this is nothing but aspirin. So what is the use of aspirin? Even this is what I have to talk about. So now let us talk about that. So friends, here are some uses of aspirin. So talking about the first one that is, it is used as analgesic for headache for common cold and muscular pain because it is used as analgesic and basically it is widely used nowadays the reason behind it is it is not narcotic in nature and that's the reason a doctor can prescribe this medicine talking about the next one that is it is used as an antipyretic also that is whenever a person gets high fever or whenever its body temperature rises we are using so that person can consume antipyretic drugs so that will lower the temperature and that is what he will be free from that is high temperature of its body Talking about the next one that is it is used to prevent strokes the reason behind that is this drugs can act like a non-clotting drug and that is how basically if the blood is not clotted and because the blood is not clotted so that's the reason there will be flow of blood and that's the reason that we could avoid strokes and that is heart attacks talking about the next use that is it is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis so arthritis is related to the pain or related to the bones that is what that is the weakening of bones so therefore it can avoid those pain also if we consume it so therefore these are the certain uses and this was the preparation of aspirin that is what i have discussed over here so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much